Hello once again everybody and welcome to another episode of Dude Where's My Par. I am your host, Jung64, and today's episode I have a question that I will field from our first international viewer who comes all the way from Canada, which at first I thought it was overseas because I'm not very good at where places are and I was told that it's our friends to the north. So anyway, now I know where Canada is, which is awesome because I didn't know that before. I know they have a leaf on their flag and it's kind of a cool looking flag, but anyway, um, and I do like, I think that their women's curling team in the Olympics year in, year out is one of the hotter ones along with Switzerland and Sweden. Anyway, uh, moving on, uh, Ashley from C Canada says, uh, What's up with the putting on uh, Oakmont? Why is it different than all the other courses? Why can't there be any consistency? And that is a very good point that you bring up because uh, mainly on a lot of the courses, you at least get a consistent read and the speed is fairly close to what it should be. Now, Kiowa is a whole nother animal. You cannot get an angle where you can even tell any type of direction where the putt is going to go. You could have a three foot putt that's going to break six times on Kiowa. Um, but I know what you're getting at is the speed difference on uh, Oakmont. Oakmont is a roller coaster ride and <clears throat> it's, it's not like you're caddying for Tiger and have to read these greens for him because he could probably do it. Um, some of these other guys may be able to do it, but we're not caddying for Tigers. We're playing a video game, so it's a little bit different. Um, you, you want, on that particular course, you want to try to stay below the hole. But uh, it's very difficult to stay below the hole because, in my personal opinion, and I'm a conspiracy theorist as to everything that goes on, I think they change where below the hole is every time you play the course. Um, sometimes you can go a little bit short left, you may have an uphill putt. The next time you go a little bit short left, you may have a downhill putt. It just, it. I mean, I've gone from an uphill putt or from a downhill putt and missed it by three feet and then had another downhill putt coming straight back. How does that happen? I don't know. I mean, it, you'd think if you missed it on a downhill, it'd be uphill coming back. But uh, a perfect example of that is, I believe, number 11 on Beth Page. It doesn't matter where you are on that green, you're going to have a downhill putt. And when you miss it, you're going to have a downhill putt coming back. So there's quite a few inconsistent greens out there as far as the putting goes but i agree with you oakmont i i hate that thing i hate it i mean it's like why don't you put a windmill or a clown's mouth on every single hole i might as well put it through the loop-de-loop -loop because that's what i feel like i'm doing anyway it's going to go up the hill and down and it's going to roll past the hole and then i'm going to have a downhill putt coming back up and if it's a 12 speed green forget it because those putts like those, those putt like 20s and if you have a 7.4 it's putting like a 12. so you're right there is no consistency and it really really sucks but like i said we're not caddying for tiger we're playing a video game for ourselves and a lot of it a lot of us are pretty good at it and some of us aren't and here lately i'm following into the aren't category because the meter skips and everything else have just gotten outrageous to the point where I've, I I did break a phone and now I'm on another one. And uh, luckily I have two iPads as backup. So uh, if it continues to get as bad as it is, those may go out the window too. So anyway, hang in there, everybody. Keep the questions coming. Hope you all had a good fourth and uh, happy Canada Day that I found out was that was before our fourth. And that's reason to celebrate. So enjoy. All right. I learned something today. Awesome. See you guys later. Bye.